Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Oh, I have such a great video for you guys today. I'm excited to share 10 men I would totally smash husband up or marry. It's really gonna let you guys know the kind of guys that I'm really into and the kind of mind that I have. I don't know. I just like these 10 guys and if I had the opportunity, I would totally smash, marry, wife up, have a conversation, give a good hug. I don't know. I don't know what could happen if we're in the same room, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> okay? Are you guys digging my space buns? In my country, we call them Chinese bumps. But y'all call them space buns. But that's all cool. So, the first guy on my list, y'all know him. He's so cute. His name is Asan Minaj. <laughs> I bet y'all didn't know I was into brown guys, right? <laughs> He has the biggest, bulbiest eyes. They're so beautiful. He's a former Daily Host correspondent, and now he has his own show. It's called The Patriot Act. Check it out, guys. He's amazing. And, I mean, he uses his hands a lot. He has lots of energy. So I, I can't imagine, like, if we're in a room, what he's going to do with his hands. Shout out to Hassan's wife. I see you, boo. You can join in in the fun as well, okay? <laughs> Hey, so let's move right along. So y'all know this other person, like he is just amazing. I love a fully matured grown man. He's an actor and comedian and he is Donald Trump's twin professional impersonator on SNL. Y'all know who I'm talking about. This guy has so much grit to him. I love a man with a little grit, you know what I mean? Um, of course I'm talking about Alec Baldwin, like. <laughs> Guys, I love Alec. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I mean, I would just love to hug him and talk to him. He seems like a very intelligent guy. I mean, what else can I say? I like older men. <laughs> Alec is just amazing. He's an amazing actor. I love Alec. He's amazing. I don't know how many times else I'm going to say amazing, but let's move on to the other guy. This guy, guys, guys, he was featured in our most beloved movie as or heroic angel he ugh, I, I just don't know I, I have to just humble myself to just introduce him to you guys because mm. Mm. he was a featured actor in one of our favorite epic movies a wonder woman as well as the tessering scientist in the film a wrinkling time oh my god his crystal blue eyes and strong but pleasant features just have me mesmerized girls <laughs> i imagine him just walking around our manner dressed just like you have giving me cheers to expensive wine like cheers to you honey <laughs> Girls, I'm talking about Chris Pine, okay? Yes! He, oh, uh, he's so fine! <laughs> he may not be for you, honey, but guess what? He, he, he's for me, okay? He's for me. I like when he's, he's, he has worn out his beard and it's just a little, like, scruffy. You know what I mean? I feel like that's hot. I feel like that's sexy and I, I love that shit. Like, uh. <laughs> All the wives out there, bless your hearts. You know what I mean? You can deal with us super fans and crazy people that are just loving up on your man all the time, wanting to touch him and feel like. However, I just say this behind here. I won't touch anybody's husband or boyfriend or whatever. I'm behind my camera. I am whomever I want to be, okay? So that is my number three on the list. And by the ways, I didn't mention that the list is from hot to hottest in my mind. Like from who I want to grow up to the most grow pebble person. <laughs> And trust me, when I chose to do this, my criteria is for men, and I've always liked these men, so they were just like the perfect representation. Like, if I could put all these men together, that would make my perfect soulmate. Like, I, I feel, I just feel. I don't know for sure, I just feel that way, okay? And sometimes feelings count, all right? So, when I was choosing these men, my first thing was intellect, like, what's their capability, like, mentally, intellectually, you know, psychologically, like, were 
were they capable? I wanted to make sure that, of course, they were mouth drooling fucking hotties because I love a good looking man, okay? I do not love ugly guys. It's just what it is. I don't. Like, I fucking love hot men. I like men that look good. I like men that I really want to fuck. Like, if I don't want to fuck you, like, you shouldn't be in my DMs, okay? Don't DM me if you're not hot because you see this? I'm fucking hot. And I don't want some unattractive guy trying to like date me like no, I can't walk with you in public I, I'm not gonna take you home to mom And if I can't take you home to mom, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, go find someone who's your speed <laughs> Oh, I'm ridiculous tonight, but I love it. So guys, the next person on my list is, of course, my loving angel. Like, he has the voice of an angel. His harmonies, his voice, his style. I love his fucking IG story edits. Like, he's so fucking cool and so creative and so wise. And I just, I, I don't know, like... <gasps> Like, oh, oh my gosh, he's he's just some dark chocolate Latina goodness that I just want to grope. <gasps> All right, maybe groping is not the best word. Like, I just want to lick him. That's all. And just throw Nazani, Nazinandi, Nazin, Nazin, Nazinandi, Nazin. She's his wife. <laughs> Guys, secret. His wife is so fucking hot. Like, I want her too. <laughs> She is, oh my gosh, like, ah. Oh, when two beautiful people get together, it's just like, it's just like, I'm just speechless. I just, I just want to cry, like. That was so melodramatic. <laughs> but um, you guys get the point, like. I just love his vibe. I love his style. I love, I just love everything about Miguel. Like, Miguel is just okay, and I love him, and I would love to be in a room, me, Miguel, and his wife. Okay? Yes, I want to be harem. Okay, let's play something. Make a way to keep them out. Is that the look of freedom? And this time we talk about it Let's not waste our common ground All the silence, dear Lord, how we know where we going right now <laughs> Alright, so, y'all know, I love Miguel, Miguel is fine He blows my mind, and I love him Dental Washington's son, John David, was just featured in like, I think the film was Oscar nominated, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But oh my god, guys, I didn't even know Denzel had a son. And I was watching The Daily Show with Trevor Noah and I saw this guy and I was just like, whoa, 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 <laughs> what chocolate goodness is this? I mean, if Aunt Jemima could make herself a chocolate dripping syrup to put on my pancake, that's what this guy would be and I'm telling you she don't even make chocolate syrup but oh my god he is so fun <laughs> he is so fun he really blows my mind like oh my god I'm telling you I can't function I, I mean he's so fine he's he's so fine and he's not just like some fine ass guy like he's the kind of fine ass man that's just a king you know what I mean like he's the kind of king that you go to Zamunda for Royal penis is clean, your highness. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's the kind of guy that he is. Like, I don't know him personally, but we're best friends. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm my mind is blown. He's he's just I, I don't know what to say. I, I I I just don't know what to say. Like this guy is just so fucking fine. I mean, I can't function. I really can't function. Like I, I wanna come to America. I want to be coming to America. <laughs> okay? <laughs> like that's the kind of vibe he gives me, you know what I mean? Like that cool, calm, collected gentleman. Uh he used to be in sports, so he's very physical, you know what I mean? Like he can throw a ball. <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> he has endurance. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
this guy is just so sweet like oh and well spoken like when he speaks you know he was mentored and taught and raised by Denzel Washington because that's the man's son like he's so hot <laughs> I don't know what else to say amazing stuff so that that's done so the next person that I'm about to talk to is married just like Hassan Minaj and and a few others on the list Stephen is so fine I just want to be like smoking a cigar and just watch him dance and do his thing you know I mean <sighs> I just want to watch him dance and, and carry on with his antics. I'm talking about Stephen Colbert. Stephen is so charming and so charismatic and he's such a witty fellow. <sighs> she's lucky um she has one of the smartest men on television okay i would marry him if he wasn't already married <laughs> I, I don't know what to say he's just stephen colbert is just an amazing human being you know what i mean like i just hope the man that i see on tv is the same guy in in like his private life because i really admire him and i really love him and guys can you guys see me and stephen together no nice romantic yacht looking out in the distance and the very starry sky just having a wonderful time sipping or wine what do y'all think me Stephen? he's looking at me like what you up to girl <laughs> But I love me some Colbert, okay? Love me some Colbert. This is the kind of guy you want to marry, okay? So, I hope you guys didn't think that I was going to talk about the newbie without mentioning the original American gangster. Y'all don't think I would do that because, oh my god, like, this man is so suave. Like, he's so suave and just, like, intellectually stimulating. Timing. I mean, ugh, girls. I... I, I, I I, I, it, it just I don't know what to say like Denzel just has that thing about him you know what I mean like he makes he's, you he just read a book. pulls you in like you just want to be like oh mm, 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 okay and I mean his walk like his walk like he has the best walk ever I he's got the best walk I've ever seen in a movie I've ever seen on TV like like I just want you to walk away baby I I'd just love to see you walk just just walk for me baby just just do your walk you know what I mean just walk like so good so good he's so good love him this was a hard one this was a hard one for me because there was two guys that just like you know yeah this one was a hard one for me because like there was two guys that was competing for this specific position because I mean come on like do you see me like <laughs> I I've got expectations okay <laughs> the next couple of guys that I'm gonna talk about they're both musicians and this spot was like I, I couldn't decide if this one should get the spot or that one should get the spot because it was just I love them both and they were both competing for this spot in my heart because since it was available <laughs> duh but damn guys i'm talking about fucking asap rocky like i would totally fuck asap rocky like any day like come on bring it on like yes please god <laughs> like oh my gosh like i feel like if if shakespeare was alive today and he was black and he was a rapper and he painted he would be asap rocky like this guy has great aesthetics like his physical aesthetics i'm talking about bone structure and everything you know as well as his creative aesthetics like he is just like oh he's so fucking cool he's so humble and so chill and so fucking real like he's the kind of guy that i feel like would just be like 99 percent real with you about every fucking shit like no games no play like he's a real fucking nigga and i love that about him so much like i i i don't even know like i i just i just fucking love asap and he is a fucking handsome young man and he's so smart and so i i there's nothing else to say like call me baby just call me um i'm right here call me okay all right 
Moving on to the next one. Let's put our lady leg on because this is a gentleman that I'm about to talk about. Okay. So the next guy that I'm about to talk about, I'm I'm gonna cool it down. You know, put my lady shoes on and you know compose myself because I'm about to talk about a gentleman right now and he has the voice of the millennia. I feel like he has the voice of a lifetime like his range his beauty his essence he's he's so fucking underrated I feel and I, I just I'm just like uh, why I, I just I just imagine him just holding me in a rocking chair as I sit on his lap and just rocking me back and forth and just singing to me ladies I'm talking about Maxwell oh my gosh he is such a fine chocolate goodness like I'm just like damn Gina I mean Gina please stop like the Lord is good because uh, he is sexy I mean <laughs> hot <laughs> I mean both. <laughs> I mean fine. <laughs> I mean fantastic. <laughs> I mean like Maxwell is such an amazing human being and I just feel it deep down in my soul that he's just oh like I just want to breathe him in and just let him out I don't want to hold on to him too tight I just want him to be free I just want him to just soar I just want him to just oh uh, yeah baby yeah mm. Breathe in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. <sighs> Just deliciousness, I swear. I don't know what that was, but Maxwell did that to me. You know what I mean? Like, that's what he does to me when I listen to his music. That's what his, he does to me when I hear him speak. Like, just an amazing human being. That's all. Okay, so the last and final and top, like, contender on my list of guys I would totally marry. Totally wife up. I mean, husband up. You know? <laughs> just <sighs> smash. Like, I would totally smash this person. Like, I, 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 I can't. I don't wanna, like, I don't wanna calm down. I, I wanna get rattled up because this guy, he's a really good comedian, really good actor. The last and final person on my list of guys I would smash, marry, boo up, love up, you don't know, like, do things too, is actor, comedian, and host of The Daily Show, Trevor fucking Noah, okay? Trevor, 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 Trevor. Hey, Trev, how you doing? Yeah, I'd love to go on a date with you. Whenever you're ready, let's go now. Oh, I'm so excited. I wanna go see Black Panther just because I wanna see that, that spaceship, that shuttle, just speak. You know, let's go watch Black Panther or we can just Netflix and chill, you know? Was Trevor out of the shot all this time? Hey Trev, what's up? You wanna go watch a movie? Netflix and chill? Look how inviting his face is, like, just look at him. Could you say no to this? Ladies, like, look at that. Look at that, like, South African goodness. Like, don't you just wanna fuck him? Like, don't you just, like, look at that face? Trevor has this sense of this fun, insane, innocent type of humor that I just, I just find it so refreshing. Like, Trevor Noah is so fucking fine. He really blows my motherfucking mind. Like, I'm just like, oh, you're so Oh, as, I mean, as South African with dimples, like, how, how can you resist this? How? How? Like, uh, listen, like, girls, ladies, he does great impersonations. You think I could ever be bored around this guy? He, he does a great Australian accent. Like, a South African who can do an Australian accent, he does Donald Trump so fucking well. Like... He's done Donald Trump so much, it's it's kind of stuck with him a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm a little worried. Trevor, should I should I should I worry about you? Because like it's it's too much Trump now. 
at this point. Like, calm down, take your time, okay? He is just so entertaining to watch. Like, I love the fucking Daily Show with Trevor Noah. Like, he's amazing. I love all his segments. Like, he's just so refreshing. Like, oh my gosh, I, I, I cannot say no to a South African with dimples. And I cannot say no to a South African named Trevor. Listen, Patricia, I'm putting out my bid right now. I, I bought your son's book if you don't see it over there. I would love to be your daughter-in-law. I, 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 that is a horrible South African accent. That's not even South African, but I, help me here, mama. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get into the family. Like, what must I do, you know? Like, tell me, cause I, I, I love your son. Like, he's so intelligent, so smart. He's just, he's refreshing. There's not a lot of refreshing hosts on TV these days. There's not enough men who fine tune the details of details. You know what I mean? Like Trevor is the kind of guy that gets to the real fine grit of everything and I just love him. I would totally marry that guy at a heartbeat. And look, Trevor, <laughs> we've got dimples. <laughs> we've got dimples. <laughs> we both have dimples. Our children are gonna have dimples. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Our children are gonna have dimples. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? Mm. So guys, right now it's just me, Trev and Steven and we're gonna grab some wine and head to my my dungeon in the attic of my attic and have fun this was such a silly fun video idea that i came up with i really wanted to share the type of men that i'm into i feel like it would help some of you guys choose a little bit better and choose wisely i feel like all the men that i chose to be on my list of 10 men i would smash and marry is just amazing men very talented very intelligent men very good looking very smart and maybe watching this video will help you decide whether or not any of these men would work for you so you go out there and you find your Denzel okay and you find your Steven and you f don't find no Trevor okay because Trevor is mine as a single woman I feel like it's okay to fantasize and it's okay to get a little photo and cut out people's face and stuff it's not crazy at all it's just you know I'm building a case against myself so I'm just gonna stop but uh, Chris Pine and I and some wine a lot of things could get real fine you know what I mean Call me, baby. Call me, Trevor. All right, guys. I'm done. I've been on here for far too long. Carrying on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to do more fun videos like this because I have a lot of tens, okay?